You're looking at me. Okay, guys, both of your trunks just a drop on so the line is right in the middle of uh, both belts. I gave you both instructions in the dress room. I want to remind you to please listen and follow my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Fight hard, fight clean. Good luck to both of you. The Hall of Famer Jack Reese getting this main event assignment. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled for the WBC Continental Americas Super Welterweight Championship. It is Sir High Boachuk. Patrick, you ready? You ready? And Patrick Alexey. Boachuk wearing the blue and yellow of his native Ukraine. Alexey in the black. TJ DeSantis, Abel Sanchez, Doug Fisher. Live tonight, this is our main event of Tom Loeffler's Hollywood Fight Night. Appreciate you joining us here live on UFC Fight Pass. For Boa Chuck, this is his second fight of 2023. Last fought in January. Interesting story for Boa Chuck. Had to go back to the Ukraine in 2022 to get his visa renewed. And that is when war broke out in his country. Was able to get that taken care of. And now, obviously, wants to put on a show for his native Ukraine. His brother fighting in the military. The military trained himself. But now fighting and trying to defend this WBC Super Welterweight Continental America Championship. The boat shoot was trapped in Ukraine for about nine months. And uh, so he lost most of uh, 2022. Um, and, uh, Tom brought him back uh, late, late in 2022. Um, and then in his very next fight in January, he really stepped up the, the competition. Him out. As you would expect, I mean, he won the, the WBC's Continental America's title. And with that, he, he got a, uh, a top 10 ranking with the WBC and the Junior Middleweight Division. Um, and he's moved up those rankings. The, the, the victory over Gallimore carried it away. Now he finds himself in there with a former world title challenger in Patrick Alate. So Bochuk doing his part to maintain that ranking and try to climb the ranks for the world title fight. And activity helps, but um, it also helps to, to, to fight and beat recognizable names. Plants him to the floor with that right Eight. hand. We'll Nine, see if he can get back ten. up. Jack Reese pulls it. Oh, it is gone. Sirhan Bolichuk gets the win for the round knockout. How good was that? That's a statement. Alizé went four rounds with Jaime Munguia in 2019. I've never seen a thing out like that. And he was playing. He's saying he could have continued. And I actually thought he was boxing well. He was doing the right thing. Employing the lateral movement, working his jab, not getting too free, uh, not trying to battle it out inside with Boachuk. And Boachuk is also dangerous from a distance. He's a tall, right hand guy. And uh, he's straight right in. Right, Coach? Listen, when you fall face first, that means something. Generally, if you have your wits about you, you will break your own fall. Right. It's kind of a natural instinct. So when you fall face first, referees are going to take notice of that. The long I'll say definitely complaining about the stoppage, like you said. But it's not often that an athlete in combat sports goes face first to the floor. You mentioned the very first round of the Jumash Casino Reserve for the last time. The end comes. Two minutes, 32 seconds of round number one. Referee Jack Reese puts a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by way of a knockout, and still champion, Sentai Kenbuckle!